Hey guys, what's going on? It's Russell. I thought I'd do a completely different video today. It's still about making money, but it's not about trading so much. So, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. I usually do stock alert service reviews and look at trading courses and things, but occasionally I'll do a video like this where I'm basically just looking at other ways to make money. So, I'm a huge fan of passive income. I'm not, not a huge fan of working for money. Maybe it's because I'm lazy, I don't know. Um, might be what attracted me to investing and trading and starting online businesses as well. So, uh, yeah, so today, like... Um, I've seen a lot of people getting annoyed about things and calling things scams, so I thought I would just uh, give you the ultimate scam here, right? So what I do is I tell people that I've just, you know, I bought this box, it's a, a magic black box that will just print you money. Uh, you just let it sit, and this is a picture of it right here. And scroll down. I'll leave a link in the description to this article that I'm writing about it. It's not finished, it's kind of an ongoing thing, but this is the black box that I bought recently. You can see my computer off to the side here so you can get a scale, f scale for it. So for you guys that don't know what this is yet, I'm going to explain in this video exactly what this is, how much money it can make you, and show you that it's not a scam, right? So a lot of people just say, you know, if something sounds too good to be true, then it probably isn't true. Well, that's been really not been my experience with a lot of things and I think the more things that you try and test out the more likely you are to come across things that are genuine and legit and can actually change your life for the better so yeah let's get started so basically this is a box that I bought for $500 uh, probably six months ago now and my friend Josh did the same thing and I think Malcolm in Eagle Trades also got one um, from a friend as well so these things are really interesting. The technology is super exciting to me, and I think I think you guys will be quite quite happy with this this way to make some passive income with cryptocurrency. So let's get started a little bit. Uh, nobody believes me when I tell them this. When you can buy these things for five hundred bucks, and they can make you anywhere from um, ten dollars a day to a hundred dollars plus a day. Uh, passively without you having to do anything you literally just plug them in and put them on your windowsill and they just generate income for you and there's a lot of stuff online you can find about this I'm not claiming to be an expert in helium mining which is what this really is so I'll leave a link where you can buy one of these little black boxes they're called Bobcat miners this is the page here you can go and check it out the one that I have is the Bobcat 300 it's probably the most popular one that there is um, Interesting, this has changed a little bit due to high demand orders cannot be cancelled or returned. Yeah, that's always been the case. Anyway, you can go on here and you can buy one for, it's 429 but when you add taxes and shipping and stuff it comes to about $500. Um, I'm in the US so, you know, I make sure I get the US 915, but you can get them for other countries too. The European Union, I think Canada, but you'll need to look into that a little bit more. So this is where you buy them. The, there are other sites and other manufacturers you can buy them from, but most of the time they're actually out of stock because these things are becoming so popular. Bobcat seems to be the most reliable one, but it will take months and months for you to get this thing. It says 12 to 20 weeks. So you have to be patient to get these things because they're so popular. Apparently the manufacturers can't keep up with making the chips for them, which is crazy. So you have to pay with USDC. Uh, uh, using Coinbase. So that also puts people off sometimes too. Paying with cryptocurrency it's just like for something that claims to be able to make you money while you sleep. I mean it just feels like a scam, right? So I can understand why people you know don't find this the uh, the most appealing thing but I can tell you it's legit and you do make money from these things. How much money is you know up for questioning and I'll go into that a little bit uh, in a few minutes. So anyway back to my articles. So scrolling down you can see um, the idea here is pretty pretty interesting. So it's basically you're becoming a node in the network for building the Internet of Things or IoT network. So these range from anything from smart watches to motion detectors, temperature sensors, thermostats. The list literally is endless. So I put this graphic in here a little bit so you can see all these different little symbols for things where the Internet of Things uh, is required. And Basically, these things are all communicating with radio frequency waves, uh, but there needs to be a way for them to get it like from the devices to the internet, right? And that's where these hotspots come in, uh, is my understanding, and I might be off slightly. <laughs> I don't claim to be an expert in the helium network. Basically, these internet 
of thing devices or IoT devices, they need this wireless network, which is not the same as a wireless network, you know, that we're used to. It's it's a way to connect and talk to each other and, and then get the data up onto the internet, where it can be read from a website or whatever, you know, to process. Um, so it's a really cool system and it's basically a way of like putting the power back into people's hands, right? So instead of paying a big company like AT&T to build up a big like distributed network. Um, the Helium network is for the people by the people, right? So like you're getting rewarded in Helium tokens to have one of these network nodes, these Bobcat miners in your house. And it's such a cool idea. Um, it, may, it may not come to as much as we hope. That's the risk, right? That the network may never materialize the way that we think it is, but all indications at the moment are this is a fantastic idea, kind of on the level level of uh, Uber or one of these other kind of revolutionary um, times that we're in. So, so basically, what you do is you buy one of these helium miners and you put them on your windowsill, and you make sure they can uh, communicate with your Wi-Fi, but they don't do anything dodgy. It's totally safe. They don't like hack your stuff and send it to Apple or Google or anything like that. So it's a really safe way to do it. They don't take any energy, so they're pretty much negligible in terms of uh, how much power they use. So a lot of people say, oh, well, that sounds great. You get, you know, you put these things in, they turn them on, they start generating new helium tokens, which you can then convert to US dollars. Uh, they always say, oh, but, you know, Bitcoin mining, they compare it to that and say, don't you need like a million watts of power and you spend it all on electricity and all this? No, these, that's what makes these things so good is that they're small and they're compact and they don't use hardly any electricity at all, which is totally in contrast to the giant like computers thing, you know, graphic cards and things you need for conventional Bitcoin mining. So this is helium mining, not helium the gas, but helium the uh, cryptocurrency or uh, blockchain as well. So. So it's such a cool idea, and there's, like I said, these advantages over normal cryptocurrency mining that I just talked about. Basically, you're getting rewarded for proof of coverage. So the idea with the Helium Network is you're building out this huge network that covers like the whole of America and other parts of the world. And the reason you're getting paid to do this is because you're building a network for somebody, right? So um, you're building this amazing network, and whenever you basically, your device talks to other devices in your area, it is basically the network, right? That's how networks are formed. Um, and you get compensated with Helium tokens, which is this proof of coverage. There is a whole bunch of other ways that are more complicated that I don't fully understand and I'm not gonna claim to understand and talk about. You can research it yourself. Um, basically, it's so simple. That's what I love about it. So you plug this thing in on your windowsill and money just starts rolling in. The big question is how much money, right? So. It can be a lot or a tiny bit, depends on where you live. There's so many factors that come into it. How many are around you? Like, if, if obviously you're not gonna get compensated if you buy 10 of these things and put them in your house because you're not building a network that way, right? It only needs one in your location. They would much rather you had another one half a mile down the road that it talks to because then you're building a network. You don't get compensated if you buy 100 of these things and put them in your living room, right? Uh, it just doesn't work like that. You won't get compensated for that. And it's similar that if you've got too many of them around you, you'll be competing and your rewards will go down too. So this really works really well in certain locations. And I'll show you how to find those locations in a minute. But basically people are reporting anywhere from 50 a month to several thousand a month uh, just having these things in their house, which is ridiculous. Um, yeah, so let me show you the one of the key sites that you need to do before you buy one of these things it's called the helium explorer website and i pulled up here i'll leave a link in the article so if you want to go and check out this article i'll leave make sure there's a link in there to all these useful useful references so you can see here that this is the helium network as it stands i picked one that's currently near me at the moment just a random a hexagon so the number in the middle means how many hot spots are in there so you can see some of them are really dense like there's 43 in this one and some of them only have one or two so I just picked one at random it's uh, it has four in the network which means there's four relatively close together in this hexagon um, so they get assigned weird names so muscular rows people don't choose these names like they do with their own like Wi-Fi these are like seem to be randomly assigned maybe not but it's mine got assigned to me 
And then you can see here, like, in 30 days, how much these things are making. And you can see it varies a lot from nothing to five, just within this hex one hexagon. And that gives you a good idea of, like, the span of earning potential here. So 5.4 helium is, it's about $50 at the moment. So whatever that is, 260 bucks or something. And, you know, so this guy's making 260 bucks. If we click on it, it gives us more information. Takes a while to load me. There we go. So, 30 days. Yeah, $246 in 30 days. And you can see on here, like, which ones it's like other Wi Fi, sorry, other Bobcat things it's communicating with all over here. So, it's, that's the node of the network, and that's what it's not like it's all talking to. So, it's pretty cool. So, if you're thinking about getting this, you can go to your particular town in your house and look around you and see what the, like, the, landscape is uh, around you for these things so and click on one of these so you can see all the things it's talking to mine's only talking to like two or three other ones and i don't get rewarded very well for that uh, i still make a decent amount of passive income though uh, let's have a look at this this one so he's not making anything not sure why he'd be making zero maybe he's offline um not really properly synced with the network or something. I found one earlier is making like three grand a month. And it's cool how you can actually find these things and it's all publicly available data. Uh, so this would be a horrible place to have one by the looks of it. They're not making much, although this guy is five, five helium, so 250 bucks. So yeah, so if you go and have a look around your, your area, you can figure out how much money every month you expect to be getting from this. And this might change, right? Like, as more and more of these miners come online, nobody really knows like how much your earnings are going to go down, or maybe there'll be new ways to monetize, like getting like renting them out or something, you know, in the future. And that's actually the last thing I want to talk about a little bit here. Let me see if I've missed anything. So I've showed you how to buy them. I've told you a little bit about them, and I think the main thing that I'm trying to do now is not just have these things working passively. So the cool thing is you can scale, right? If you have friends and families or businesses nearby that are prepared to, to take these or rent them to them, you can scale this thing potentially infinitely, right? All across America. Um, so, you know, a hundred of these things and you're making say a hundred bucks each from them, $10,000 a month, uh, not bad, right? For, for doing very little. But you can also do some other things with them. So you can rent them out like that. You can put them in your friends and family's house. Or you can take advantage of the market at the moment, which is uh, because these things are so, so in demand and there's so little supply, the retail, the, so the resale value on them is like 3x. So you can actually buy these things from Bobcat and then you can, they, they arrive and then you just put them on eBay and you can sell them for two, three times what you bought them for. So that's currently my monetization plan with these things are gonna start becoming a, a reseller or a flipper of these things. And of course that might change and it almost certainly will eventually when other manufacturers start producing these things en masse uh, rapidly. Because the, the main problem is the supply. So people read about these things, they see YouTube videos like this one about them, and then they go to buy them and it takes four months for them to get here. People want them faster, they're missing out on earnings potentially in that period while they're waiting for it to ship. So that's where people like me would come in and start you know, selling these on, on mass. So I've started scooping them up and planning to resell them in the future. It's a little risky because it could be that the landscape completely changes in the Helium network, supply and demand, that kind of thing changes by the time mine arrive and they'll be left with these miners which won't pay for themselves too quickly. So it depends where you put them. Uh, some people make their money back in a month. Sometimes it takes, some people it might take a year to make their $500 back. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm pretty excited about this whole rev revolution of the Helium network uh, in general. Here are some of the frequently asked questions that I get. Uh, it doesn't need the internet. Yes, you have to have Wi-Fi or uh, you know, a conventional internet in your house for it to do this. Are they safe? Yep, they're really safe. They don't, they don't uh, emit harmful radiation. This is long wave radio frequencies. We're not talking about UV, like, you know, crazy, crazy stuff. Um, you already have Wi-Fi in your house, so it's not gonna change really, you know, your, your living environment. 
they don't hack you. There's no way for them people to hack into them and steal your credit card details from your internet or anything like that. So they're they're pretty safe. So that's usually the concerns I hear from friends and family when I tell them about this. You can't buy dozens of them. It doesn't work like that. You can buy dozens, but you have to put them 300 meters apart or more. So people always wonder how you get paid. Do you actually get paid? Yep, you do. You get paid in HNT or helium cryptocurrency it goes directly into the helium app on your phone you can see it in real time coming in and then you can just convert it to usd so it's pretty easy pretty straightforward and it's one of my favorite ways to make some extra money these days um, honestly it's not a lot of extra money i can see maybe a few tens of thousands of dollars in profits uh, over the next year or two um, it's not life-changing income at least not yet so um it's still a really cool thing to get into and I just love the whole idea of it so I'm learning a lot about cryptocurrency in fact it's really helped me to start to embrace crypto in a way that I really hadn't until I came across this stuff all right guys well if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and good luck if you start looking up these little magic black boxes that you can make passive income while you sleep all right guys next see you in the next video cheers